strawberries. Right, yeah. We do have strawberries in there too, don't we? Yeah. So we made it to the hotel. Uh, we ended up staying at the um, Best Western over here in. Where are we at again? We're outside. We're outside Columbus. And uh, <laughs> the days is blur together. I mean, if you're been the power tour, it's kind of how it goes. Phil's looking at the name. No. No. Nope. No. Nope. This is Best Western outside of Columbus, Ohio. So we made last night. We had pizza across the street, and um, the room's really nice. Like. Uh, some more and after, of course. It's like a normal tub, like not weird. And a uh, small bathroom, but not a big deal. Sink outside, plenty of coffee. There's like, I don't know if you know all the coffee feel, but there's a lot, of coffee. a lot of coffee and a lot of cups. Last hotel, I can give you two cups. We have at least four. Um, refrigerator, of course, normal stuff. You guys know what it is. Refrigerator, microwave, I guess it's normal now. Desk is a big thing for us. AC is actually wired into the thermostat over there, so it's pretty nice. Beds were like super comfortable. We both slept like way, way too long probably. We slept good, but yeah, actually it was really clean. Um, one of the nicest rooms we stayed in for sure on this trip. We're heading back, we're gonna hit the backwoods of, um, we're gonna take the back roads home because just because the trip's over with, the ride's not over with. That's the way we kind of look at it. So we're not gonna try to just burn up the car in the interstate all day, it gets real boring. Can't hear nothing with the windows down anyways, so. We're gonna hit the back roads and see what we can find. All right, guys. So we're checking out a hotel here. We got the we're at the Best Western. Uh, Phil's into the cold start for us. Um, yeah, this is our this is our trip home, homeward bound, as we call it. Uh, see how she does this morning. We really haven't been changing a whole lot because I think we got an ignition system issue, pickup issue. But we're gonna see how she does. There it goes. That's not too bad. Don't smoke at all. That's really good. But uh, yeah, here's the car. Got a little dew on her. Looking good. We missed our hubcap from the other day, which is you know, kind of normal. Fuel injection gives that nice hissing sound when you fire it up. Idle air control kicking in. <clears throat> but yeah, our plan today is to hit the back roads of West Virginia on the way back. We, we made it all the way to Ohio, Columbus, Ohio yesterday. and. Um, we're on the interstate for maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, probably 40 minutes. Most of his back roads out of Norwalk. Uh, we're heading down to, uh, we're gonna try to hit Logan down that way, West Virginia, and then over to, I think it was like Erin, take 52 all the way out. So we're gonna see how that works. Roads look pretty good. So we're just trying to make it, uh, might take us an extra hour or so doing the back roads, but it's just a lot more enjoyable than just sitting on the interstate, running the toll road and all that stuff too. So right, we'll see if we can get you guys some footage. That's a pretty crazy bridge right here, boys. We're out here in West Virginia, back back roads. <laughs> I mean, golly. What is these damn? Those are plates. Plates. Those are damn roads worn out. Yeah. <laughs> that was surprising. Came around the corner and seen that. Cool. Well, what's the thing was rated for? I don't think there's any sign rating for it, weight wise. Oh, there is none. No. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. We're on this curve here. It should be a tunnel. Oh, oh yeah, it's a tunnel, 500 feet. That's perfect. One lane bridge. One lane. Oh, that's pretty tunnel. sweet. Tunnel. We're gonna get some pictures. Of yeah. Oh, it's a bridge too. Yeah, oh, it was a bridge and a tunnel. It was a bridge and a tunnel, one of those old school bridges. This one's still got asphalt on it, though. Ain't much, eh? Wood sides. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. This one's all just dug out. Yeah. It's a rock. Just dug out. Golly. Turn my headlights on there. They work. They're oh, right. yeah, actually. Golly, it's dark. See, pretty good. Pull to the. I got, my head, I got my sunglasses on. Well, wait, it was. <laughs> that helps if you sunglasses It was good until you turn the head to the end something. That better? That better? No, really. But anyway, it's all dug rock. Golly. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty bitching. Pretty good. We came through that tunnel and we found this little lake access area here. 
parked up. We've seen a little potential for a waterfall. I got, of course, I got all the gates up for whatever reason. Pretty big drop there. Oh, they're milled out too. It says a hundred foot drop off. The sign says. Oh yeah. Got a little water action. Concrete. Huh? You walk out there. Oh, you can walk out there. See on one side. Pretty good drop. It did not look like that much of a drop when we pulled up, that's for sure. I say you get that little side road, see if we can see it from over there. It's nice relaxing. Take you a nap. You have to get a little shade. Had to stop and get some sunblock. My uh, arm was getting pretty burned up. Chill up just for no sunblock. Yep. We get clams on the ground. People over here kicking off in their canoes and kayaks. Oh yeah, got the coal train over there. You guys can tell. We're in a coal country. See it back there in the back. Oh yeah. For the coal trucks. These guys haul coal every day. Backwoods of West oh. Virginia. Caboose Hollands. Oh, yeah, I got a caboose here. With some type of little unit in front of it. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. There he is. Still hauling coal. That's like the third or fourth train we've seen. <laughs> Definitely neat up here. We took the back road. This is Highway 52. Uh, we're heading over to Bluefield now. Um, actually, been a really nice road. This road's been smooth. The, the yeah. road with the tunnels and stuff on it was pretty rough. This road's been pretty smooth. A lot, of, a lot more people live on this road. So, a bunch of these little towns, coal towns. Ah, there we go. Yep, there, there she is. is. East River Mountain. Yep. Came off of 52 onto the 77, heading back to the house. For a third tunnel. Yes, our third tunnel today. That's the big interstate one. You guys have probably already seen it. Everybody, everybody probably sees it. Everybody's gonna see it, but maybe some people have it live off the west coast.
All right, guys, made it back to the house. Not a whole lot of videoing going on, so we're just once we hit the interstate right there in Bluefield, that we came to the mountain. That was about it. Stopped and got some Mexican, hometown Mexican. We had Mexican on the trip, and it quite wasn't the same as what we normally get. But uh, we made it back. Got the car here. Made it on one piece, no problems. Um, we lost the hubcap, and we tightened our belts twice. Now they're at the maximum stretch because they're cheap old uh, O'Reilly cheap belts. Yeah. So. I feel here we got the sign out next to the car for everybody's doing those pictures too right yeah. got the long hauler sign there car still pretty clean didn't hit much rain or nothing on the way back really nothing it was beautiful met up with some long haulers uh on the interstate when we got back on the interstate they were there which was pretty cool but yeah that's about it it's like uh about 10 o'clock or so 10 30. Yeah. probably 10 30. sunburnt i can tell that and my arm i had to I actually had to give in and buy sunblock because my arm was getting pretty warm and the sun just wouldn't leave it alone. I had the arm in the car, still getting burnt, out of the car, of course it's gonna get burnt. It just feels better because the sun, the, the wind was blowing on it. But uh, made it back, I, I'm glad everybody showed up. I'm glad uh, we had a lot of support. A lot of you guys knew who I was, who knew me and, me and Phil were actually, not just me. But uh, we put a lot of time and effort into going into that. And we got some videos coming out. Well, you'll probably see them already, but I gotta work on two videos, if not three, that we got left over from the trip. I think I got one or two before the trip. Just been busy, been hectic. So, as always, like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next Power Tour.